Hello everyone, uh, this is Amar and this is a brief explanation of the project Age and Gender Detection System. Um, so I'll be briefly explaining, will be explaining how I performed both classification and regression to solve this uh, problem of predicting both gender and age uh, from a given image. So uh, first of all, uh, you have to import some necessary modules, necessary modules. Uh, so for example, first I have to import load image uh, to load an image into an NumPy array uh, to feed it into a neural network. To build a neural network, I have to import sequential in model, right? And then you have to also import some necessary layers, uh, dense convolutional 2D dropout layer uh, to drop out some of the neurons to prevent uh, overfitting, uh, flatten layer, max pooling layer, and then input. Uh, I'm importing the OS library because I want to traverse the directory of my data set and uh, get the data set into the format uh, that is required to feed it into the neural network, right? And in that process, I'll also be using the NumPy array. I'm using Metplotlib and Seabone libraries to visualize my data uh, to perform exploratory data analysis. Uh, and yeah, I'm using TQDM library to show me, you know, uh, the progress uh, as I'm traversing through directories or loading files, right? Uh, once you do that, uh, uh, you have to unzip uh, the zip file uh, of the UTK phase data set. So in this instance, I'm using UTK phase data set uh, that contains uh, about... Uh, let me see, 23,000, yeah, 23,000 uh, images uh, that has, uh, that, that are labeled with both gender and age and also ethnicity, but we'll, we'll not be, we're not going to deal with ethnicity in this case. So the, uh, another step that you have to do is to uh, actually traverse the data set, traverse the data set directory, right? So I've initially created the three lists uh, the age labels, gender labels, and image paths, right? Uh, initially, what I'm doing is that I am shuffling the image file names, right? So I'm extracting the image file names by using os.list directory. Uh, so it's going to give me all the file names inside of this base directory, and then I'm shuffling those file names, right? Uh, the reason for that is that when I do exploratory uh, data analysis, the data that I plot is actually randomly uh, actually shuffled and not uh, plotted sequentially. Okay, so after that, uh, what I'm doing is that each image name is constructed in such a way so that the first component of the image file name is age and another component is actually gender. So what I'm doing is I am splitting the name of the image uh, by this delimiter uh underscore right uh, and then i am extracting the age label that is at the zeroth index because i told you the first component is the age and the second component is the gender right and i'm converting both into integer because both of these are expressed in numbers right so uh, there are only two genders male and female so for male you have zero and for female, you have one, okay? And in the end, what I'm doing is that I am sequentially just appending the age corresponding gender and the path of that image. Right, so uh, after that, after I'm done with that, I am actually confirming whether the number of age labels, gender labels and image paths are equal and they indeed are. Uh, after that, I am just creating a simple dictionary just for our convenience that, okay, zero uh, means male and one meals, uh, means female. Uh, and then I am converting every single list that I created into a separate column uh, to create a nice concise data frame, right? So for each image path, you have corresponding age and gender. And now uh, to the fun part, the exploratory data analysis part. Uh, there should be an A here. Okay, 
So exploratory data analysis, uh, what I'm doing is that I am plotting a random image here. So each time you run this cell, you will get a different image here, right? Uh, just to, you know, get a feel of what kind of images uh, we are dealing with. Uh, these images are fairly cropped images, uh, cropped images of faces, so that neural network has a has an easier time to distinguish between, you know, genders and edges. And then what I'm doing is I am plotting the age distribution. So as you can see, this this distribution is roughly, roughly normal distribution, uh, although not quite, uh, but it is skewed to the right, right? So there are outliers, uh, but they are at the higher end of this curve, right? Uh, so from this, we can see that the median uh, is around 27 years old, right? Around 27 years old, more or less. And then what I'm doing is that I am plotting around 16 random images uh, just to get a feel of different ages in uh, uh, genders. So uh, in the first row, you have females. Yeah. And you also have some males and different age, age groups. Okay, so after we are done with exploratory data analysis, I am performing feature extraction. Uh, so for that, I am creating a custom function, extract image features, in which I'm going to pass the list of image paths, right? So this images is actually a list uh, that would contain uh, image paths, right? And then I'm creating a empty list called features. And then I'm traversing uh, through all the image paths, loading that image uh, as a NumPy array, resizing that image into 128 by 128. Uh, and then this right here is going to uh, help in cases where there are distortion in, uh, distortions in images. And then I am converting that same image, image into a NumPy array and then simply appending uh, that image into features list. And after I'm done with all the images, in the end, I'm converting the features list into a NumPy array and then reshaping that features into the number of images, the dimension of each image, and the channel. Uh, the reason for having grayscale images is because of, uh, well, constraints, uh, on resources because uh, we don't have much memory here, right? So we're going to stay uh, on the grayscale, right? We're not going to be feeding RGB images uh, to the neural network. Okay, after you're done with that, uh, you can just pass the data frames image paths, right? And in this case, this object is series. It's similar to list, but not quite a list. And then all the features, this features, uh, NumPy array is going to be uh, returned uh, to this variable x. And as you can see, the shape of x is exactly what we want, right? The number of images, 128 by 128, uh, with the uh, number of channel as one. Then I'm normalizing each image, right? And then, of course, the again, the problem statement is to, is to, is, is to actually predict the gender right, and estimate the age given an image as an input, right? So we have actually two output variables. So again, you specify the input shape, and then now comes the fun part of actually designing the architecture of uh, your convolutional neural network. But again, because this is a problem where you have to predict, uh, well, you have to predict gender, but you have to estimate age as well. So there are actually two output variables. So after creating the input layer, uh, you create a convolutional 2D layer, right? With 32 filters, kernel size is three by three activation ReLU. After that, max pooling layer. And you do that uh, to create four convolutional layers and four max pooling layers. Uh, of course, you can experiment with it multiple layers as well. And then after creating a flattened layer, you have to create two dense layers, right? Uh, so these are fully connected layers. 
And then again, you have to create two dropout layers and then two output dense layers, okay? The first output dense layer would have activation as sigmoid because again, the gender is a binary variable. It can either be zero or one, right? And the second output, uh, the activation is ReLU and the output would be age, right? Again, we will not be using sigmoid here because we are trying to estimate the age, right? Uh, this will become more clear when I talk about this. Binary cross entropy is actually for a, a gender, but this mean absolute error is actually a metric that is going to be used to estimate the age, right? Because again, age is not, again, age is a quantitative variable, albeit it's a discrete variable, but it's it's a quantitative variable, right? Uh, so in our data set, uh, there are no ages like 1.5 years old or 16.3 years old, right? Uh, there are discrete variables, uh, values, but the age itself is a quantitative variable. Right, so I'm using metrics as accuracy, although this is not very useful in, uh, when it comes to uh, assessing whether or not, because again, there it doesn't make sense to assess whether or not the estimated age is closer to what it should be based on the metric accuracy, but we are using it for now. But in the end, we will be assessing uh, whether or not the neural network is actually estimating the age correctly by looking at the loss of the neural network, right? And then we will be assessing whether or not neural network is performing very well by looking at the accuracy for gender, right? So this is the architecture. As you can see, this is pretty simple, but in the end, after a flatten layer, you actually branch out to these two different uh, kind of directions where in this direction you are predicting the gender and in this direction you are estimating the age okay so i ran this uh, neural network of uh, trained this neural network for 50 epochs again you can go uh, for 100 epochs maybe uh, to get a you know to maybe get a better performance okay so now to plotting the results. First I'm plotting the accuracy for gender variable. You can see the accuracy, you know, uh, the neural network kind kind of overfits after it crosses around 15 epochs. So the best practice would be is to just stop the training uh, uh, around 15 epochs, right? That would be the best practice. And this is the loss curve for uh, the gender variable. Uh, but for age, again, we're not going to be looking at accuracy because it doesn't make sense to look at accuracy for a quantitative variable. So again, uh, at around at around 10 epochs, you should be stop, uh, stopping the training because of overfitting, right? And I, I have created this function, uh, this customized function, which will take any image path uh, loads that image, resize the image, because we have to, any image uh, that we take as an input, we have to convert it into the form uh, that the model requires. So I've taken this image, right, from uh, uh, from Google, right? And it has predicted this image as, the predicted edge is 40, and the predicted gender is male. If I go ahead and load another image, the predicted age is 24 yeah i mean it obviously uh maybe if i train this model for a bit longer uh maybe it would be uh accurate but for you know it's it's performing very well uh in terms of predicting a gender if i go ahead and look at another image uh you can see uh, it has predicted the gender and age as well. So yeah, that's all about uh, the age and gender detection project. You can ac also access this project if you go to my repository, uh, Code Class Projects. Uh, there you will find this folder called Age and Gender Detection System, and you'll find the Python notebook 
aimed to test images along with it.